Hey everyone, this is John with Pro Sound Effects. Let's take a look at some new features in the newest SoundCue update. Check the description for a link to download the new version and follow along. So the first thing to share is that the free tier of SoundCue will no longer have a local database limit going forward. So you can now use SoundCue as a free organizational tool for your local files without needing to purchase the subscription. Before there was a 10,000 sound limit for importing local sounds and going forward there will be no limit. The next thing to mention is of course the new redesign of the app. We've updated the look and feel of SoundCue and there's many other small tweaks and improvements in here but for the most part things are in the same place that they were before so you should have no problem adjusting to those changes. The main change in the UI is the collections panel. So the organization has changed and also there's some new functionality that I will explain. So to start, there are three main sections now to the collections panel. There's the my collections section, the store section, and the system collections section. Uh, and each one has a different thing going on. So the system collections is where we'll start because that's basically the way that collections used to work in SoundCube before this version. Before now, collections were available whenever you'd create your own custom one that would be available to anyone else using that computer. It was not tied specifically to the account that you logged into and it wasn't syncing to your account or anything like that. It was just local to the computer. Anyone who logs in on that computer can use that. We've preserved this functionality in the system collections section. So anytime you create a new collection here, anyone who logs in on this computer will be able to use those collections. Conversely, the My Collections section, which is new, is specifically the collections that are tied to your SoundCube account. So there's, for example, Free Sound and SoundCube Music and SoundCube Sound Effects. The SoundCube Sound Effects and Music ones are the ones you get with the SoundCube subscription. And so those are things that you have full access to to download as many sounds as you want from. And also you see this wind sounds and great movie scene. These are custom collections that I created that are now tied to my account and they are synced to my account. So anywhere that I log into SoundCube on any computer, I will see these same collections with the same metadata in each collection. Um, and so Basically, that means that if I were to have a local computer in my studio and also I use maybe my laptop on the go, then in both cases, I could share the organization that I've created here. And if I make changes in one computer, they'll show up in the other. Additionally, there's the store collection. So if you have the subscription, but there are sounds that you're looking for that you couldn't find with what you get in the subscription, you can also buy additional credits. And this is where you'll be able to buy sounds directly from the Pro Sound Effects store with your credits. So this is 100% of the Pro Sound Effects libraries online. And this has already been available, but now it's in its own store section so that you can specifically search just the store very easily, or you can specifically search just your own collections very easily, or this specifically the collections that are on this computer. And so that's collection syncing in the new hierarchy of the collections panel. The other big new feature that we're launching with this version is collection sharing. So not only can you sync collections to your account now, you can also share them with other SoundCube users. To do so, you use this three-dot menu and you go to sharing and permissions. And here you can type in the email address of any other SoundCube user. So if you're working collaboratively with somebody on a project, this is a great way to combine forces and build collections together. So I'm going to share it with myself, my other email account, john at prosoundeffects.com. Um, but let's pretend that I'm sharing it with some other person who is not also me. <laughs> so once I've done that, I can decide uh, what access level I want this person to have for this collection. So there are three options. You have viewer, which is read only. So they can only see the sounds that I've added to them and of course, they can export those sounds and use them however they need, but they can't add their own sounds to this collection. Next, there's editor. 
So for editor, that person can actually add their own sounds and remove sounds from that collection. And then finally, there's admin, which lets you do all of the below, plus allows you to modify properties and uh, the metadata in the collection as well, and things like the icons that you have, the custom icon or the name of the collection, etc. The only thing that an admin cannot do that an owner can do is delete the collection for everyone. And um, also you can transfer the ownership. So if you do decide that you want to just give this collection to somebody else, you can transfer it to them. And also if you no longer want to share this collection, you can remove access for an individual. So once you've shared it, as you can see, I shared it with myself, uh, you'll see that there's a new icon showing that this wind sounds collection has been shared with somebody else. So if you're quickly scanning up and down your My Collection section, you can see which ones you've shared with somebody and which ones you haven't. Lastly, if you wanted to add sounds to a collection, for example, let's say we have some drum sounds here, and we want to add all of these to that shared collection, wind sounds, which doesn't make much sense because of my title. But say you wanted to do that, you'll see the collection spinner this little spinner icon, which is now a check mark showing that it's fully synced. So as soon as it gets back to this cloud with a check mark, then your collection is synced and everyone else who is shared with this collection will see the same metadata. Currently, there is one limitation uh, with collection sharing, which is that it is not for local sounds that you add that your, are your own local ones that you imported to SoundCube it will not upload the audio. It's only going to upload what's in the SoundCube database. So the metadata, if you edit the descriptions of those sounds, that will get uploaded. Uh, but for now, not the audio. Of course, if there are our own cloud sounds from the Pro Sound Effects library or the SoundCube Sound Effects libraries, um, those will be able to be accessed by anyone. So there you go. That's it for our newest features for this version. There are a few more that I will follow up with some other videos on specifically, but just to keep it high level, that's what's new. So thanks a lot for watching and check the description for a link to download the new version and give it a try.